What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I'm a huge Sixers fan and a huge Ravens fan. And so whenever a player on one of those two teams releases a sneaker, and not only just any player, one of my favorite players releases a signature sneaker, you know I gotta pick it up. And just a few days ago, that happened. So today I'm reviewing the Ben Simmons Nike Blazer 77. Just to clear up any confusion, yes I am a Sixers fan and a Ravens fan, and the reason for that, even though I live in Philadelphia right now and I'm not an Eagles fan, is because I grew up in Baltimore and I was always a Ravens fan, I grew up with the Ravens, I was around before they were even a thing, and the Sixers, well we didn't really have a basketball team in Baltimore, so that was the closest thing, plus they had AI, so I was always a Sixers fan, and it just kinda happened that I ended up in Philadelphia. But in the current era of sports, my two favorite players are Ben Simmons and Lamar Jackson. So to grab a shoe from Ben Simmons, it's pretty exciting. Lamar's gotta get on that sneaker deal though, for real, because I would love a Lamar Jackson sneaker. We'll see what happens. Obviously the shoe is a Nike Blazer, which means that Ben Simmons is a Nike athlete, which is pretty exciting to see because maybe one day he'll get his own performance basketball model. That would actually be really exciting. That would be my everyday performance shoe, for sure. So to fill you all in on the Ben Simmons Blazer, this shoe released as a Foot Locker House of Hoops exclusive on May 21st for a retail price of 110 bucks. While the shoe doesn't have Ben's name anywhere on the sneaker that at least I could find, it could be on the insole, I couldn't actually pull it out, so I'm not 100% sure. This release is pretty similar to what Nike's done with some of their other younger athletes where they release a lifestyle model with sort of the theme of that player, but they don't actually create a player model. I really wouldn't be surprised if all of those players I just mentioned, including Ben Simmons, did eventually get performance models, but I think right now there are so many performance athletes that maybe Nike is slowly moving people up into that role as they get older. I could be totally wrong, I don't know what Nike's marketing strategy is, but it is cool that they're giving younger athletes sort of signature sneakers to kind of ease them into the Nike athlete family. As for the actual silhouette that Ben shows, I think he made an excellent choice, not only because he's awesome, but also because the blazer is just a dope silhouette. The blazer has such a classic look, and it's such a wearable lifestyle sneaker, and especially when it's paired with this sort of distressed colorway, it comes off really clean. But actually jumping into the sneaker itself, the toe and the rest of the upper of this shoe is covered in this cracked gray leather. Now the one thing I'm not a huge fan of with this release is that the pictures on the Foot Locker website, and even the color description on the Foot Locker website, led me to believe that the upper of this shoe was white, and when I actually got it in hand, it's definitely a gray. I don't mind the gray color, I don't have a problem with the gray color, I definitely would have preferred the white, but at the end of the day what really bothered me is that Foot Locker didn't really give us an accurate representation of what the shoe actually is, and when we're all kind of stuck at home and we can't go into the store to actually see the shoe, that kind of sucks. It's not a deal breaker, at least to me, and hey, maybe it's possible that my pair in particular got aged in a certain way, or maybe mine is the only gray pair, I don't know, I haven't seen any other pairs, but it is kind of disappointing. As you continue up in the shoe, you get to these flat gray laces, and I believe this is the only set of laces that you get in the box. Underneath the laces you've got a green nylon tongue with exposed foam edges and at the top of the tongue you've got a green Nike tag. Honestly that pop of green is probably my favorite part of the shoe. I don't know what it is, I'm not usually like a huge green fan, but it really contrasts this gray upper nicely and I think it was a nice touch. The sock liner of the shoe comes in white leather and is pretty nicely padded. And then moving to the insole of the shoe, like I mentioned before, I couldn't actually pull out so I'm not 100% sure what it has on it, but it looks like it's an orange insole with some tattoo sort of printing on it with a white Nike logo in the heel. As for sizing and fit, the Ben Simmons Nike blazer does seem to fit pretty much like every other pair of blazers I've ever worn. For me that's true to size, for you it might be something different, but as I always suggest, if you have a chance to try on a pair of blazers before you buy this pair, make sure to do that to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. Continuing back in the sneaker, you get to this nice hit of color with this cracked and distressed yellow Nike swoosh. Then underneath the Nike swoosh, laser etched into the lateral side of the shoe, you've got this basketball logo that says pride and passion. According to Ben Simmons, the pride stands for the pride that he has in his home country of Australia, and also the pride that it brings him to represent Australia in the NBA, especially when there's very few Australian players. And passion is the passion that he has for the game of basketball. It's a nice personal touch on the side of the shoe, and and I like how the color of the laser etching actually matches the color of the midsole. And then moving around to the heel of the shoe, you've got this brown leather panel with the word motivation and the Nike logo debossed into the right shoe and the word dedication debossed into the left shoe. I think it's dedication. I don't, I don't remember exactly. 
Yeah, it's dedication. It's dedication. We're good. And then moving down on the sneaker, you get to this dark brown vulcanized midsole and this lighter brown herringbone outsole. Overall, the Ben Simmons Nike Blazer 77 is a really solid Nike Blazer collaboration and just a solid blazer colorway in general. Shout out to Ben Simmons for creating a dope sneaker. And man, if you're watching this, hit me up if you ever want to do a collection video of your collection. I think that would be awesome and people would love to see it. But now I would love to know your thoughts on the Nike Blazer Ben Simmons and whether you grab the pair for yourself or whether you're planning to grab a pair in the future. So let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.